was your sweet, sweet smile that drew me in. And I really used to let anyone in. It was your smooth, smooth voice that invited me.
and a lifelong best friend, all roll, all in one roll of the die. But here I am, and I'm for that I am so grateful. Dawn and I have such differing personalities, but at the core, we are so much more alike than we are willing to admit. We share a lot of the same stubbornness. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> A desire to shine a brighter light into this world. We're both too nosy for our own good, and that's okay. When we fight, we fight hard, but we always come back to each other because we know we can't stand being mad at each other for more than one, like an hour. So as I was prepping for this speech, I was racking my mind going through all the stories and jokes that I've shared with Dawn throughout our life. So I started rifling through old memories at my parents' house. So my parents keep a file cabinet downstairs in our family room with all of our treasured keepsakes. Well, it's my mom's treasured keepsakes. So it's our photo albums, random school crafts, and like, of course, any good Indian parent, it's all of our grades. <laughs> so if you're looking for my report card from kindergarten, or the spelling test I took in 1994, my mom's got it. So there are piles and piles and piles of Dawn's awards and all of her distinctions and lots of honorable mentions for me, and that pretty much sums up our childhood. <laughs> While I tried my hardest to be the best role model for Dawn, it was nearly impossible. <laughs> Dawn is always and ever will be an overachiever. She excelled in whatever she did, from grade school to law school to her career. But the best part of her is, any evidence of that is locked up in the cabinet because she won't let, in, let you in on any of them. <laughs> Dawn does not let any of her achievements define her. It's what she does for her family, her friends, her community, her clients, um, which truly define her. This love and passion Dawn has for all people knows no bounds. She's an incredible daughter, sister, friend, and especially devoted aunt to these two, Luke and Andrew. Everyone in this room is better for knowing you, Dawn. You love so deeply, so selflessly, and unconditionally. Erwin, I'm so happy that I've gotten to know you in the past few years, and I'm so happy knowing my little sister has found the truest kind of love in you, and I couldn't be more excited to watch the two of you blossom as husband and wife. So as you begin your new journey together, I wish you the most fun-filled life, a life where you grow to love each other more and more every day. May you always remember to compromise, apologize, laugh it off, and prioritize the needs of one another. No matter what may come your way, I know your combined patience, resilience, and love will make you an unstoppable team. So congratulations again to the beautiful couple, and we love you, John and Erwin. So with that, I'd like to welcome Paul and Ernshaw to the floor. Hi everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Paul, Erwin's cousin and the best man. I call him Ramel. First off, I want to thank Don, Ramel, and their parents for making this beautiful intimate way possible. Uh, I also want to thank you all for coming. This past year or so has been rough, but uh, I'm happy to be here. Let's congratulate the new duets. They look great together. Uh, I believe Ramel has found a smart, kind, and beautiful woman in Dawn. Um, when I first met Ramel, I was visiting California in high school. He was just a chubby kid <laughs> playing video games. <laughs> kind of more like me now, but <laughs> but years later when he moved to the East Coast to join the Air Force, I got to know him better. I learned he's just a slim version of me. <laughs> um, we had a lot of good times going out and traveling, and now it's all over. <laughs> uh, uh, the pandemic has been difficult uh, for us all, but if Ramel and Dawn can survive quarantine together, you know it's real. <laughs> I'm happy for you both. May you have a lifetime of love and happiness together. Congrats again. Cheers. 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 To welcome Luke and Andrew to just pop up and share uh, a quick word.
but I hope will continue as well. And um, when I met Dawn, I tell her for the first time on my birthday on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. They came here for six days in California. We met them at San Francisco and we spent one night over there. And then we sort of get to know her when we were just going out and at Pier 39, you know, when they went out together before it was to be Erwin, me, and then the dad and Gretchen. And now Erwin went first and held hands with God. And me and his dad were like, this is it. We're done. They walked first together and were holding hands. This is the first time we saw our son do that. Taking us round and round